Okay, everyone, my name is Paul and I... No. No. No! <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch, I'm Matt, and today we have a very cool video for you. We are going to be doing a little torture test on the High Point Yeet Cannon. You guys know my stance on High Points. Bleh. I think they're really ugly guns, and I tried to do a torture test on one previously, and it ended up showing that it actually works pretty good. Um, but today we're going to be doing the scientific method. We're actually going to be comparing a high point to the fan favorite, the Glock. This is a Glock 17. It's like the most common Glock. 9mm, 9mm. We're going to make them go head to head, tip to tip, tips touching tips. Let's talk about the ergonometrics of the guns. Yeet cannon. Feels great in the hand. It actually doesn't. It feels, I don't, it feels normal in the hand. You can't get your pinky on it. Although if you had a mag, I think your pinky would fit. Very heavy. Uh, there's a lot of extra weight. What's interesting to see is the bore axis. You can see how much closer the barrel of the Glock is to the top of the gun. There's just way more meat in the slide of the Yeet Cannon, the high point. I think because it's made out of a lot cheaper metal, so they gotta put a lot more metal to make it strong. Very heavy gun. This one feels great in hand. I'm actually a Glock fanboy. I'll go ahead and get that out there. I want the Glock to win. I really like Glocks. I think they're simple. I think they work really well. And I think this gun's super stupid. But $599, brand new. $139, brand new. That's only 23% the price of the Glock, which means you could have like four of these or one of these. So let's decide today, do you want four of these? Or one of these. As you guys know, Veterans Day is coming up and this is our Veterans Day shirt. We're doing a fundraiser. It's gonna support Fisher House Foundation. So $5 from every shirt sold will go to support Fisher House. Fisher House Foundation builds comfort homes where military and veteran families can stay free of charge while the loved one is in the hospital. Link in description below. Thanks to all our veterans for keeping us safe. We're gonna shoot the Glock first so I can show you what a real gun is. And what's cool about Glocks is they have factory 33 round magazines. So you could hold a lot of ammo in there. <laughs> Got cocky. Okay. Look at that. The Glock didn't jam because Glocks don't jam. I just hit my finger when I did that, but I meant to do that. Glocks don't jam. Next up, stupidest gun in the world, the Yeet Cannon. Also, I want to show you guys these sights. For some reason, they bounce up and down. I think it's a feature, so if you're running hard, it's less shock on the sights. Uh, I showed you that awesome big mag in the Glock. Yeah, we found one for a high point, too. But high points are single stack, so it's not a 33 round mag. It's a 16 round mag, but it's bananas long. Look at this thing. All right, see if it Run, oh, it just feels so bad when it closes. Let's see. Jeez. Huh. Jammed on the first shot. That's not good. Classic. This is gonna be a short video. You just gotta reload every time you shoot. Oh, that one might have done it. Yep. Oh, dang it. Come on. I can't tell if it's a mag issue or a gun issue. I also can't hit anything with this. Slow. Okay. Failure to eject. <laughs> Just spitting ammo out. Those last ones ran. Okay, as you can see, it's the worst. Some of you may have never shot a high point before. Kids, go to the kitchen, grab one of your mom's potatoes, pick it up, aim it like you're aiming a gun. That's what it's like. Guys, you have to know that you need to oil your potato. So we're actually just gonna put a bunch of WD-40 in here, get it real greased up, because maybe it was just a, a lack of oil problem. Get this thing nice and lubed up so that it runs real nice. This too, this is certified high point oil. Definitely not WD-40. Dang, that's buttery. Dang. 
Dang it! Got the dirt out. Probably also washed out my oil. Bullet just fell out of it. This gun's worse. Yeah. Come on, you're so close. Just don't be stupid. Yeah, that's not good. See how far it pushed that bullet down in the case? That's a bomb ready to happen right there. <laughs> Hardest gun to aim in the world. Oh, I need to push the sights down while I aim. There we go. Knew it. Oh, we might be running now. Dang it. it this. Nope. Oh my gosh. Maybe you just gotta shoot fast. I don't know. We gotta load it up again. I'm gonna see. It might be that we just need to shoot it faster. Faster. Okay, that's that's live. I'm gonna just try to shoot it fast and see if that works. Nope, definitely not a speed thing. So maybe it's just that when the mag has more than like four rounds in it, it's just not gonna run good. I don't know. Let me try. I'll try some different angles. Oh, that's that feels right. Maybe it won't jam like this. Oh, uh, maybe, do gangsters go? Maybe they go that way. Okay. Oh, that was the best results we've had so far. It's like the opposite of a gangster. You gotta go like way sideways. <laughs> we figured it out. <laughs> All right, I am out of ammo, so I'll be right back. So I was thinking the ejection port's down, plus then we don't have the gravity that's working against the rounds coming up when we're going sideways. But what if we turn it all the way upside down, then gravity will really be helping the rounds get in there. It was a good theory, but that one's really stuck in there. Whoop. There's actually a lot of live ammo on the ground down here. It's weird. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Get, get in there. Look at that pig. Got him! I'm pretty sure we're gonna shoot it like this for the rest of the video. This is, this is the only way we can get it to work pretty well. Now that I know how to shoot this high point, now that I'm a graduate from the high point armor school, it's actually an online course, about six minutes. Uh, it wasn't really online, it was actually in a newspaper. But I did it, I graduated. Okay, I'm gonna try to shoot accurately now, sideways. Oh yeah, okay, okay, it's, they're just not good. Get in your hole, get, get in there. Okay, okay, come on out. I think we really just need to load this 16 round mag with about eight rounds. Dang it, that's really hard. Dang it. Come on. That's good though. I needed to get those first ones out so that we could actually do something. Dang it. It's so hard sideways. Uh. Woo! Yeah, buddy. I went back to the drawing board with this thing, did a little work, called a few friends, called Jerry Michalek, and I was like, hey Jerry, when you run the high points in competition, do you notice that it jams a lot? He hung up on me, so then I had to do my own testing. I found out that if you only load six rounds in there, which I have, runs perfect every time. Six rounds. Now let's try putting seven in there. Now I have loaded seven in here. Let's see how it runs. Curious. Now that we have the high point working, we figured out how to make it work. The head to head, tip to tip torture test can commence. And first test, we're gonna do something that you find a lot in the field. <laughs> Flying guns, holy cow. Okay, now let's see if they both work. We'll shoot this one first because we know it's gonna work fine. Yep, look at that. Glock works great. Now, how did this thing hold up? Oh no, it's already broken. <laughs> The trigger's dead, hold on. 
It has one in the chamber. Our trigger's dead. This is the worst gun. We just threw it in a tree. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. I'll see you next time. A lot of you guys are probably thinking, what's Matt going to do now? The high point broke so early in the test that the video is kind of terrible. Listen, guys, I don't give up. We can't quit. We got to soldier on. We're going to continue with the torture test. The high point started out as a 16 shooter. Then we realized it's actually like a six shooter. And now it's a, it's a one shooter. The gun is the bullet. First test, the dirt test. Put them in here, get a little sand up in there, and then we take them to the range and see if they're still reliable. Let's see if the Glock is reliable. Glock is reliable. Let's see if the high point is reliable. High point is reliable. Dirt plus water makes mud. Let's go see if they're reliable. It threw dirt all over me. Glock. Still reliable. Yeet cannon. Also still reliable. Dirt, water, and glitter. You guys may remember from a Wow, that's really bright and pretty. <laughs> From a recent video, the glitter totally messed up our python. It made everything not work. Now we've got glitter and mud all in one spot. Will these two guns still function after the glitter and mud does its work on them? So cool looking, okay. Oh, that was dirty. But does it run? Oh, it's just throwing stuff all over me. The Glock! It's still reliable. The high point. Ah! Oh, starting to fail a little bit. Okay, interesting. Glock pulls ahead. Glock coming in strong. But high point just could not take the glitter. The glitter takes another victim. You guys have seen how devastating the glitter is to firearms. It just shows right there. Killer. Killer. the guns. They fell off the back somewhere. Oh, they're right there. Still reliable. Yay! Still reliable. Thanks so much for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. What about the quad hog? Ish.